May the 2nd, 2016, an Arriva Trains Wales Class 142 past Newark Northgate. It's extremely rare to see any pacer south of Doncaster on the East Coast Main Line, mostly because they're not supposedly allowed there. This one was because it came right the way from Cardiff Canton, but how it got there from Peterborough, I'll never know. Did it go via Bingham and Grantham in that way? I don't remember what the route line said. Next route for Arriva Trains, Wales 5 Co 42 from Cardiff Canada to Doncaster Wagon Workshop. Wag bus. Wolf 4 2 Wolf 4 2 double A6 to Doncaster. Wolf 4 2 6 to Doncaster via Retford. Pace of bus. The top of May saw the first rants on the channel linked directly to a moderate hacking scandal where several accounts were compromised. One party also made threats of cannibalism during this time, and it was noted with authorities. Coming up next is a newly featured character, and their side of this whole calamity, and their experience with the previously featured characters. 2016. This was an interesting year, because I was featured on Andrew's channel for the first time at Lincoln Central on the 7th of March, 2016 on a shit quality Skype call. Whilst I was with Andrew up at home, whilst when Andrew was at home uploading the files to his computer or laptop and putting them on YouTube, Joe Thorpe he came on my phone and decided to ring me for fuck all reason. For a fuck all reason. Of course, this was strange because Joe Thorpe had never ever rung me, so when I picked up the phone, I heard this. He asked me if I was with Andrew. In my head, I thought, this is strange, he never asks me this. And I just, and I just lied to him and said, no, I'm not with Andrew. I am my, I'm alone playing Roblox or something like that and then in april the time came where things started taking a bit of a turn in, in terms of drama because there was a bit a lot of claiming between hacking so person b hacking person a and but it was claimed that person a was fucking hacking person b who the fuck thought that for God's sake, it's stupid. After this, the drama had already begun. After the drama had already begun, I started to wonder, who is it I can trust? Can I trust Joe? No. Can I trust Andrew? Yes, I can. Why? Because Andrew is sensible. In a lot of ways. Of course, I stuck with Andrew. Because I knew he was sensible. But... I had a bit of a fuck up. Uh, I was meeting up with Joe, Lincolnshire Railways and Adam, all at Lincoln Central, not, not at Lincoln Central, in Lincoln at Great Northern Terrace. And of course what happened was I kept myself, I kept it hidden that I was, I kept it hidden that I was with Andrew the entire time. Because obviously I didn't want to reveal it to any of them in case they in case they told me to fuck off or something, which I did not want, so I just kept it hidden the whole time. And and it looks like I was and it looked like in the cliff I was good with Joe. I was not. But I didn't tell him that, because I'm smart. And even though I had hidden Andrew's name from everyone, I still didn't get the chance to visit where it was we were supposed to go. We were supposed to go to Lincoln Central and Brayford, but we did not get a chance to because Joe thought Andrew was stalking us. I clearly could have checked, but I didn't because I thought because I knew he was lying, but I thought it was true. But I, but I met no, I didn't think it was true. I knew he was lying, but what I'm trying to say is that I knew he was lying, but I made it feel like I believed him. That's a bit tough. I don't know why I did that. I'm just kidding. I know why I did that because I'm hot. 
and on the way to Clay Mills, the Clay Mills Level Crossing in Staffordshire, we had, we had an interesting problem on the motorway. What happened was I was in Joe's car, Joe's Nissan Micro from 2003 in red, <laughs> and I looked back to see if my parents were following the car to make sure that they were, because I didn't want anything to be anything to happen. And I look back in the window and in the mirror, um, and I see that my parents' car was not behind us. I obviously said to Joe, Joe, my parents are not behind us, what should we do? And I thought that they were lost, and at that exact point, my parents gave me a call to say, we're lost. And what did I do? And they asked, what is the address to, to, to the crossing? I said I didn't know the address. And because I I tried to ask Joe what the address was, he didn't fucking give it to me. Thick head. So I just said, I don't know what the address is, I'll try and find out for you as soon as I can. I never found out in the end. Well, what, so what I did was on my phone, I just sent my location to him, to my parents, and they found out where I was. I found it very strange that Joe would not give me the address, even though I knew that we were going places. But he, if he didn't tell me where, if he didn't tell me where, I found it strange. Eventually, they found the crossing just at five o'clock. Love it. This is my part from EAR Trains 95, out and about. Coming on to the 14th of May, Booton finally gave keep crossing clear signs, but the hatch markings remain too short for the crossing. So you're being told to keep the crossing clear, which the hatch markings stop inside of the crossing boundary. So that paid off that. Dig out the bloody paint, lads. Come on. I'm not short of it. After petitioning for about six years, we've made some improvements. Bootham now has three out of four brand new keep crossing clear signs. I'm telling you because the brackets are only very vaguely dirty. No scrap value. I'll believe that. But yeah, Bootham's now got keep crossing clear signs. We're on our way to refitting her. The 19th of May saw the arrival of Barnby Moor and Sutton, situated on the northern side of Retford on the East Coast Main Line. Not to be confused with the northern line of its workshop in Gainsborough. Come on guys, we're at Barnby Moor and Sutton level crossing in Nottinghamshire with Fabe. After it took me about an hour and ten minutes to get here, the time now is 16.14 on Thursday the 19th of May 2016. You wait for off Ranskill's time, so you're 16.14 when half for 95 first door train service from London, from Hull to King's Cross and your early 16.23.10.22 version train these coasters from King's Cross to Stirling. There's the old Sutton signal box. You've got a sign here, name Bobby Moore and Sutton, driven from Sierra Kilo, 674844. This is made 141 miles and 56 chains. So it's a long way out. That's my drive straight off Metheringham. Yes, I drove from Metheringham to the very outskirts of Retford. Yes, I am stupid. That's about it. They've got the normal trespass signs, and we've got some of these weird laminated ones. Which are quite useless, to be honest. Right, double yellow that way, so Rans kills definitely don't, because it's the next crossing there. A uh, single yellow behind me, or should I say behind Sutton Box. I haven't got a diagram, because nothing covers as far up as here. So it's just anyone's guess, it's being old fashioned again. That Sutton signal box has been out of use for near enough five, ten years. Ooh. The wood's already gone brown. And horrible. The lock on the doors, well, 
wearing away. And we just hear a car, but it's probably swimming in a second off a Ranskill. And Toweth. She's next up that way, I think. Toweth. Because Retford ends behind me. Can't see with this signal box. Yeah, just a car turning up for now. Right, I've got the Sterling train behind me. I've got the old train in front of me. Oh, here we go, I'm going over this side most definitely. For first all trains first. What an effort! And for VTEC! 43, 313! And to 320! Up they go! In comes the 21st of May and the arrival of level crossings and police cars, Yorkshire Railways, level crossings and cars, Northern level crossings and trains channel, and whatever the hell is going to be known by the time this comes out. He bought stolen property from Denneby level crossing. It was several safety skirt pieces. Thief! Not to forget, James has always been a problematic character, and those either featured now, or featured later, would be able to back it up on their own account. Uh, his a voice appeared at the same point in vid the only videos from Westbrook Lane, miniature warning light crossing on the outskirts of Collingham. And there comes a new guest, level crossings and police cars coming into Sheffield to meet us again. And who's that? That's level crossings and cop cars. Apparently I have no friends, eh? Who are you? Greet the camera. Love all classes and police cars. There's proof I have friends. Thank you. <laughs> the light has just gone red. Hi guys, we're at West Brex level crossing in West Brook level crossing West Brook Lane level crossing in Nottinghamshire with Fabe. The light has just gone red because the train has just left Collingham Station. In a Hi, you're missing me. In a sec, you will see South Collingham go down. Hey Andrew. Anytime soon, yes? You missed me. Did I? Yeah, you didn't say love across the police cars. Oh well. There's your red symbol. What makes you do it next time? The signal is by Dorman. Weirdly enough, D O R M A N. This is created by Dorman. Cottage is still up, here she is. Here's a 158. I've got a vote leave sign in front of it, to be honest, I'm not letting a sign tell me what to do. Be, right, Cottage Lane's just going down. Ta! 1588847 Lincoln Castle Explorer. To Leicester, by New Castle and Nottingham, and the light's gone green again. We'll see you in the next video. The 3rd of June heard the engineering approach alarms being used at Grantham Station to signify track workers of an approaching train. One of these was extremely fault and just went burp, burp, burp. Well, sure, one was keeping a normal tune. Broken one. Next on the VTEC register, one steer over 12 from King's Cross to Edinburgh Waverley. Flying Scott's face! Lady 2202 on the rear. That was one, one steer over 12 from King's Cross to Edinburgh Waverley. Got dead bird. Shut up. Next on the 10th of June, the Flying Scotsman passed Collingham. A 
And this is 5 Zulu 40 from Southall going to Barnetsby. On the 18th of June, the Flying Scotsman appeared again, this time at Newark Castle and Swinderby. This is the Newark Castle station level crossing in Nottinghamshire with Fabe. Time now is 10.01, um, 18th of June, you wait for your 10.02, the Flying Scotsman, 5 Zulu 72 from Carreridge Centre to Newark Northgate. As it says, stand back. I'm going to sit on this thing. Siam, and Lister. This, this service is operated by East Midlands Trains. Oh, shut up, dog. That's all right. <laughs> It is required at this station to remain behind the yellow lines at all times. Trains can pass this station without prior announcement warning. Oh, this has got is a message on the departure boards. Because it's not auto announcements properly. We can't even state anything. I'm coming back on the bike post, bugger it. Then I'll be catching this at, I think, probably swind a bit afterwards, because that won't be packed. I think I jinxed it, and it's going to be bloody full. But this car park won't boost visit account. Here we are. Scotsman to Newark Northgate. Oh, there you go. Next stop, I think Swinderby. We'll see you down there. Which has got the run to York going via Gainsborough and Doncaster. The 18th of June also saw the arrival of my only active second channel, Fabes Auto Made Announcements, where the newest railway announcement content is available. The 24th of June 2016 saw the Hangman and Crash video be uploaded, which later appeared on BBC Look North. The footbridge was opened later this day after a group of nursery students was sent up first, whilst everybody else waiting below to have a look-see was told it wasn't safe. Why have you sent primary kids up if it isn't safe, my love? Health and safety fucking ran away four weeks ago. Oh, 
now. You might as well just come through, Citroen. That's what we did before with our chocolate rapids. He's not getting a good telling off. Probably. It's more than likely. Oh, it's a hard one. It is. It's hell hard. The very next... Oh, it's not Christmas, is it? The very next day, the 25th of June, saw videos released from the top of the footbridge. Well, this is the link to Tim O'Cross and Lincoln with Fabe, Shane and Daniel. That was disappointing. Daniel, Fabe and Shane. That, that's a pigeon. And this is our bridge view of it. That's bridge. a pigeon. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty cool. Now we can catch them out sincerely. Uh, so yeah, so my so tell one touch. Mm. That throttled straight off the point. That's gonna bang. bang yeah, please. bang. Yeah, it's gonna. Yep, yeah, it is. Bang, please, you filthy. Right, right. Time now is 0955. The time, the time now is. 25th of June. 9. You wait for your 959. Two tango 21. Newark Northgate, Claythorpes. Uh, <laughs> like you said, Claythorpes. babe. Uh, two tango 951. Two tango 21. Okay. East Midlands train service. <laughs> Bit big. <laughs> These things will be open American Independence Day. With the capacity plate in there saying 2100 apparently built in May 16. They haven't been finished yet and it's June. You can see over there and the view is Brayford. This is the bridge which isn't even finished yet. Yeah, spider. The spider. Is it is it is it gone? I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Wait, wait. Yes. I saw a piece of fluff and thought that was it. Yeah. Even the bridge is trying to get in on the action. <laughs> yeah. That, that's grim. How about, they use the bridge? How, like, how about they use the bridge? Yeah, they don't want to. They don't think it's safe enough. It is. Well, it is. Because, well, true thing, they put a skull on here yesterday and then said to us, the public, it wasn't safe. Oh my god. How thick are they? Health and safety, never again. Here's your 959 from. You know it goes to Cleethorpes. Oh, or extended to Cleethorpes <laughs> because of Armed Forces Day. Here we are, 1564 one 13 again, which means. Yeah, no. That means that 153 is on the back. 153 is on the back. 153 on the back. Should be 365 Shaney Oho. 153 374 should be on the back. 13 yeah, and yeah, 74, yeah, 74 to Cleethorpes via Barnet Burn, Grunsby Town. And deal. Calling it here, Market Raisin Bar. Barnaby, Abra, and Grumsby Tin. And Up Cleveland. they go. Up they go. 1564 13 and 1563 3, 7, 4 to Cleveland. See you guys in the next video. Oh god. Yeah, my Zoom didn't video. mess up. I thought that was going to hit bridge there. 28th of June 2016 saw the first visit of Retford Frumpton Crossing, which has kind of changed very slowly as time's gone by. Our girls are at Retford Thrompton level crossing in Nottinghamshire with Fabe. Exactly like Church Lane also in Nottinghamshire. The time now is 10.54. On Tuesday the 28th of June 2016, you wait for your 10, well you wait for slightly early 11.03, Trimio 11 13, Northern Railway serves from Lincoln Street through Taddock. These are definitely changed since Steve was ill. Definitely, you seem a hell of a lot redder. But yeah, just a point of note. That plot there is Retford lower level. And the signal box says Retford Thrompton. So that's why it should be called, oh yeah. That skirt over there's knackered. Completely twisted. Time's 10.55. I thought I should bob down here because Joe hasn't been down in about what year or two. I'm pretty sure the alarms have changed since. Oh, 
I'm just waiting for the late Barrow Oil Freight from 1047. Left West Burton on time, but not reported at Clarbra. He's probably given this um, northern leeway first. And this road is just like a little private road. Details about this crossing, of course, are in the description of this video, as like every video. There's a footbridge supplied, but I don't think it's actually going to be used by anyone. But it is perfect. It is in, well, near enough good condition. Not perfect, far from perfect. No, for it's still not past Clarber yet. Which is about four minutes off as now. This place was reported about four minutes ago at Clarborough. Of course, it's not all that far. Yes, of course, I chose here with a rushy siding because that's hard to get to. According to Waze, it's a one way street through, won't it? Here we are. Mind out, pigeon! All four, four, double eight! Addict via here at Sheffield and Doncaster. There they go. June the 30th, I visited as Lockton for the first time. Good morning, guys. We're at Lockton Station Level Crossing in Nottinghamshire with Fabe. Time now is 11.01, Thursday the 30th of June. Ugh. Camera just closed, 2016. You wait for your 11.03, 2 Sierra at 13, East Midlands train service from Nottingham through to Skegness. Well, I've heard security announcements, not actually platform announcement. There's the next train just arriving in now, which calls at Bottlesford, Grantham, Sleaford, Eckington, Boston, Wainfleet, and Skeg. Passengers don't know that. He's not been announced to do that. He has been reported back right through his DC Midlands team. God knows what they're going to do. they got Bingham down the line who doesn't do any announcements at all because the speaker's a naff. You've got Aero only play security announcements. And the next station on the line with the announcements is Sleaford. Well, with automated ones, it's Sleaford. It's kind of useless. Okay, it's ready to leave. Leading the train onto Skegness, 156404. Trothal upon the rig with our Grantham, Sleaford, and Boston. And up they go. The 5th of July 2016 saw a trip to Whitehouse Lane on Hatchets Lane in Newark to discover a previously active pedestrian crossing which had been closed. This crossing was the reason a whistleboard was situated at the northern side of Newark Northgate Platform 1. 
Well, after a quick venture to Newark, it seems I shut it down before I got here. Two dogs on leaves, penalty thousand. White toast lane, zero kilo, 80355. Winners, man, 120 miles, 40 chains. The red wires. They now used to be um, the miniature signals and there used to be alarm zone, but it's now been closed off. There's the gantry you can see from North Gate. You can no longer cross at all, so even that sign there is absolute bullshit. So yeah, White Host Lane in Newark, closed. On the 6th of July, I visited Burton Lane in Heckington for the first and only time, and the first and only feature of Burton Lane number 2. I think I'll Burton Lane number 2 level crossing in Lincolnshire with fame. Right, the time is 14.58, Wednesday the 6th of July 2016, we're here 14.59, 2 Sierra 19, East Midlands train system from Skegness, from Nottingham, sorry, through to Skegness. All five six four eight. This Skegness. A day later, because that was classic to do different things every day, Swine's head then appeared, and that's changed very slightly as well. Good morning, guys. We're at Swine's Head Station level crossing in Lincolnshire with Fabe. <laughs> Times 10.15, we're for 10.15, two zero nine. It's Middle Trains is not in the Skegness. Date is Thursday, 7th of July. 456, 4.15. Skegness. Continuing on from this theme, followed Park Drain, the day after Swine's Head. This is Park Drain Level Crossing in Nottinghamshire with Fave. The time now is 11.06. On, I can't see my date, Friday the 8th of July 2016. I don't know the actual time for this service, but it is the Freightliner Felix Do Doncaster. So we've only got timetables of Bessica and um, Beckingham. They're useless. Doesn't it? This sounds a lot like Church Lane as well. Just to prove this is in Nottinghamshire, not anywhere else. Here it is with a picture of the old crossing in Misson. Yeah, me. Thing didn't focus right. There. I forget the information. Because reference 725986. On the London North East, Spalding Direct, 108 miles, 52 chain, line speed approximately 75 and trains per day 24, so not very many. But this crossing I think used to have, I think it was third generation Godwins, they were just swaying back and forth constantly when they were up. They were eventually replaced at some point last year. As I said in the intro, I tried to get down to um, Beach Hill. But the road was closed off. And I checked everywhere for road closures around deal and none popped up. But this is gonna be a long wait anyway. Forty two minutes now. Is it not focusing properly? Apologies. Right, two signals away. The diagram for the area again is at London North Eastern, Peterborough excluded to Collingham and Doncaster excluded on open train times. I'm assuming also that the um, track across from me is the Doncaster line. I don't know. All I've got to go by is what the barriers say. 
Y end being up near, Z end being down near. I don't know, any sign, because it should be one signal away. I don't know which way to look, to be honest. I've got bushes either way. There's been a green up there since I arrived. Same with up there. So there's two H AHBs around here, one's a foot crossing. That I've never heard of. Park Drain Z, so I'm guessing this one's the Gainsborough side. That would not be the 4th, the 7th of April 15. The old barriers were still in then. Oh well, the weight comes quite high. This still seem quite new, bearing in mind the date that they're probably put here. That's already three and a half minutes. I'm guessing freight speed's probably 50. Here it is. This is the Doncaster way, the Z line. Sixty-six five twenty-nine. Doncaster to the empty terminal. There you go. It's very so it's knackered. Now we come to the period where a TV show recorded live suggested electric trains were called fucking emus. Welcome to July the 12th and train spotting live. This was the same day I incidentally went for the first time over to Haxi which still has a driver's white light. So what it's officially classed as, I've got no idea. But at least it's not a fucking emu, is it? Well done, lads. You done fucked it live. Many times. Nothing guys are at Axi level crossing in North Lincolnshire with Babe. Uh, time is 16.50, it's Tuesday the 12th of July 2016, I have no time for this because no timetable, but it is falling of 55 running um, the 16.53, well for Beckingham, from Doncaster Emption Point to Felixstowe North. But you're wondering what that light was for there, it's just like a sing simple little halogen light for this street behind me. Not all that useful, to be honest. Not all that useful. The channel, of course, has now been renamed with Fabes Trains. This video is one of the range of the new style. As I can't really bother to keep taking people's shit. And I've rebranded like six times in two months. Like opening and closing bloody TV channels all the time. Why do you need to? You don't. Well, I'm moving over because this road's a busy, I guess, 40 or something, so I'm moving over. There's your light that just shines down there. I'm pretty sure that used to actually be a, have a red thing on it. A red filter. I don't know. Might not have done. Might have imagined it. Well, I thought it was a done park drain, Idol Bank, and Springs Road slash Beach Hill is still closed off because they are modernising that crossing again. They made it bloody decent before long. So, yeah. I saw some SPX down there before, and I saw some new lights going down there today. Why else would I be out this area if it wasn't just chasing down there? That's two and a half minutes, by the way. 
Oh yeah, a shed. Because here is a shed. Hashtag train spotting live. 588! Got a long way to go to get a Felix though. Gainsborough, Peterborough, Ely, Ipswich, and Trimley. 